today I want to explain about the array of pointers. Already in the previous video, I have explained about the what you mean by array of pointers. Uh, now, what is the need of the array of pointer? If, uh, if there is there, you want to declare a five variables like uh, a comma b comma c d e five variables I have declared. But instead of that one five variables, I can able to declare uh, a of five. So this is an alternate method to access the multiple elements, and they are in a similar type. So by a very simple declaration, how many variables are there? Only one variable with five element size of array. Now, whereas coming to the de de declaration of this, many of variables, I should remember the variable name. I should properly write wherever it is required. So where uh, now what could be happen if a of zero means it is the first element and first variable. A of one, second element. A of two, a third element. All they are individual elements and each one act like a one variable. Each one act like a one variable. So this is a benefit from the array. For example, uh, if there are five brothers are there, staying at a different place in a one city. Now to communicate them, it is very complex. It is very tough. If you want to invite uh, for a particular, uh, for a one function and you need to reach to the all five brothers. Now you have to go to the different places. Like uh, one is from Hyderabad, Mahdi Patna, one is from Tarnaka, one more is from uh, Kukatpalli, one more is from Upal. There are, they are staying at different places. It's very complex and it is very tough to reach every one family. Instead of that one, they are staying together in a one colony, but individual houses, same like an array. So it is very easy to access them in a one, one, traveling, pla one traveling place. You reach to the colony number A and uh, meet to the A of zero. Immediately, the next number is becoming A of 1. Immediately, the next number is becoming A of 2. You can able to reach all five brothers. In your one colony or one place, you should travel to only one place. A of 3, next house. A of 4. Are they, equal? Are, are they sharing anything? They are not sharing anything. All they are individual elements. They are all are individual elements, but they are staying together in a one place. This is the concept of array. This is the basic concept of array. Similarly, then I want to declare a five pointer variables. What I, how to declare? I want to declare. I, I should do a pointer p one comma pointer p two comma like that. We have to declare a pointer variables. It's very very complex. It it is also made in the program and writing in the program also complex. So that alternate what is the alternate method? Yes, you can declare a pointer five pointer variables, but you should do, uh, create one array for them. Array for them. Now, how many elements are there? There are five elements are there in this uh, in this array. All elements are pointer variables only. They can store only addresses. Every element with the index reference, they can only store the address. They cannot store the value. Okay, now here it is. Here it is a pointer variable. Now pointer variable has a five number of elements. They are storing address. First one is the address of A. Second one is the address of B. Third one store the address of B. Fourth, fourth one store the address of B. Now, what is the first uh, A address? If the A address is 2000, it is available at the P of 0. Now, next to P of 1, address is at uh, 3000. Now, 3000 means it is the address of B. Now, it is a 3005 address of C. This is the address of D. Now, whenever you want to apply any offer, operation, you have to call by using the index wise. Call every pointer variable with the index, index wise. Now, only one thing you, you will get benefited one thing. All there are five pointers are there actually, but five pointers are in a contiguous memory or continuous memory. Now it is easy way to access and easy way to maintain. Okay, so this is about the array of pointer. That all uh, this all the things I have explained. Let me explain one program. I uh, execute one program on this basis. So this is the program already I wrote on uh, paint to uh, execute this. So here I want to execute in. So what there are three array pointer, a array of pointers. Three. Now first one pointed to the variable a, second one point pointed to the variable, third one pointed to the variable c. Now followed by followed by I am printing this array. I am printing this array for all the variables. You can use a for loop. Yes, you can use a for loop. You can get access from index one, index zero, index one, index two like that. You can travel over the pointer or pointer array. You can travel first access is zero. In your first iteration, zero or point index value will be accessed. Second iteration, one index will be accessed. Third next iteration, two actually. I should write here two. I forgot to write two. Two, next one is a three, like that. Okay. Now what could be happen? Uh, so let's run this corresponding code. You are printing for array of pointer. Oh, what is the first index array of array pointing to the 10? 10 nothing but it is a A. It is pointing to the A so that the result is become 10. Second index pointing to the B. It is pointing to the B. So now what is the B value? B value 20. Then output is 20. Next to next index is pointing to the 
see now c values become 30 like that okay now we are running for three iterations properly it is a very simple program to understand how we can able to utilize the array of pointers next let's go to the next concept actually this is a base concept but i want to explain about the very important concept that is how we can able to implement the array of pointers with uh Arrays, normal two-dimensional array or one-dimensional array. One-dimensional array is a very easy concept that I have explained in the previous previous video itself. But in this video, I want to explain about whenever there is a two-dimensional array is declared, then how we can able to utilize a pointer for them. Okay, now let me uh, let me declare the same concept here. It will become very easy instead of typing on pen. I just want to copy and paste over there. I am removing all these. Okay, so now there is a one of uh, or declare one array. The array is a two dimensional array. This two dimensional array. Uh, with what are the elements we have? It's a 2D array with three rows and four columns. Three rows. Remember, there are three rows are there. Okay. Uh, no, generally, we you know that array is not in a table format. It is in a contiguous format that already I have explained. But for this concept, let's imagine there are three rows are there, four columns are there for a, a in this array. Okay. Now I want to I just want to draw the diagram for the three rows and four columns. Now there, this is a, a a three row and four columns pattern. So there is a first row, there is a second row, and there is a third row. But there are three rows. How many columns are there? For column number one, column number two, column number two, next column number three and four. There are four columns are there. Now we know that uh, according to that we have a row number. Row is the first primary uh, element, uh, primary number in the array. So first row number, uh, next to column number, next row number, next row number. After the next row number, what are the column numbers? Column number here I am writing zero column, one column. Two column and three column. These are the column numbers. Okay. Two and three columns. Now I want to access. It is very easy to access here row first. And after column wise, we can able to reach. Column wise, we can able to reach. Now, how many rows are there? There are total three rows are there. Three rows are there. So that I am declaring a one pointer variable. Pointer P. P. I also explain the same concept with a single. Uh, contiguous memory form format because in the real time the memory is stored in the for arrays are stored in a contiguous memory format not in row and column wise also i will explain that in the next video now whenever it is pointing to the whenever it is pointing to how many how many uh, how many rows are there three rows are there now we have to create a array of pointers with three rows or three three, three elements okay First point now, uh, then we can say how many elements are there in this array. There are three elements are there. That I can write. It is a p of zero comma, p of one comma, p of one comma. Uh, next one is a p of two. Like that, there are three elements are there. All three are pointers only. Now let us assign. Let us assign. Uh, so now p of one, p of one is equal to is equal to p of one. What do you mean this? What do you mean this? P of 1 is equal to A of 1. Means now the pointer P1 pointing to the row 1 of a array. There are three rows are there. Row 1 of array. This is the meaning of this notation. Normally, if you give this one A, A only, the NM can carry the base address of array. But here the array is not a single dimension, it is two dimension array. Two dimension array. In this two dimension, Whenever you are referring the base address, it should also be referred by the corresponding second dimension and or first dimension. So, see here in this code, we have a we are allocating uh, we are allocating the corresponding a row number. How many rows are there? Three rows are there. Now, the three rows we have to mention. How many rows are there? Whenever it is a single dimension, no need to mention any row number or etc. But here we have a Dimension one, dimension two. So we have to say how many. What is the first dimension value? First dimension value one. So that we have to write one, which means it is a allocation of the first dimension base address to the uh, of first uh, number one index. In that actually, how many? What are the row or row numbers we have? Zero comma one comma two like that. Zero to zero, one to one, two to two like that. So I want to keep them. It is in a for, um, for loop. Now for 
some i is equal to zero, I should be declared over there. I should be i less than three because we have a total three uh, rows. Now our dimension also three. Now i plus plus. I will explain uh, with diagram. Now we are allocating simply the p first dimension, whatever it is, it may be zero or one, that is allocating to the equal dimension row number. Okay, row number i. We are allocating. What, what do you mean in this statement? In this statement, there is one pointer where pointer i is created. Now there is a pointer array of three elements. It's a three size. Uh, 0 and 1. So now what, what is going to be happen? The index is 0 here. This is 1. This is 2. This is 2 index. And now it is a pointer variable. What is the name of the variable? It is a pointer variable. But it is a pointer variable. Now what is going to be happen? Whenever i is equal to 0. Whenever i is equal to 0, as per the first iteration, now it is become a p of 0. Pointer p of 0. So the address of. It is the address of p of 1, but we should not mention the address in array whenever you are notating the array. Array name itself carry the base address. So now it is uh, it is 0. It will become 0. Whenever i is equal to 1, uh, you know how the uh, for loop is going to be run. In the next iteration, the next, next iteration when p is i is equal to 1, that is become a p of 1, p of 1, point into the uh, p, of, p of 1, p of 1. Now similarly, whenever i is equal to 2, whenever i is equal to 2, uh, these all the values are will become two. Now, like that, all rows are pointing with, all rows are pointing with the uh, pointer. Now, example the base address of the uh, example here, the base address of a first row. So it is pointing to here. Now this is pointing to here. Okay, now now this is pointing to here. The first element they are pointing to there. Okay, their addresses are stored in this corresponding pointer variable. If the address is two thousand, two thousand stored here, three thousand, three thousand stored here, four thousand, four thousand stored here. Okay, so this is a way of representing whenever there is a two dimension. So there are two dimensions are there. The number of rows we had to mention whenever you are allocating address of array to a pointer. We should mention. Now this is a normal array only. This is a pointer array. There is there we don't want, we are not applying any kind of logic at pointer variable because it is normally we are moving from one index to another index. We don't have any change. But here we should remember that array should be assigned with their, their corresponding row number. Okay. So row 0 assigned to the uh, element 0, row 1, row 2, like that. Now next, uh, let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's access the elements, every element uh, with pointer. Whenever we are accessing, we should follow the some uh, code format so that code I will show. So after you allocating, the next, uh, we want to assign the value or else you can uh, print the value, you can read the value, anything you can able to do by using this notation, by using this notation. So we should have the typing, I just want to call paste there because it's become very far, very easy. So what happened here? See, it is a very easy concept and uh, easily understand to you. Yeah. Now I want to access every way, every element by using this uh, pointer variable. How we can able to access? So there you should understand about. It is a two dimension. It's a purely two two dimension. So when i is equals to zero, when i is equals to zero, what happened? When i is equals to zero, we are able to access the row wise. The i value is referred to the row and j value referred to the column because columns are four. Now this concept already you know that when i is equals to zero, j is starting with zero, j is equals to one, j is equals to two, three, like that. When j also will be when i is equals to zero and j also zero, this is about the first element. This is about the first element. Nothing but is a zero, zero element. In the zero, zero element, what we are printing? We are printing the uh, we are using printing the pointer, the corresponding pointer P, able to access the first value, first row, first row nothing but zero row, zero row, and the column value is become a uh, zero. It's nothing but P. It's nothing but it is now how we are writing P I, P I and J. Now I refer to the I is a pointer, the pointer of this index. Pointing to the corresponding row, zero pointed, zero element pointed to the zero row, one element pointed to the one row, two element to the two row. So like that. Now this first index is referred to the corresponding pointer in pointer location, row number. 
After that, after you select the row, you also select the row members. The this is a row. Row first zero element, row first element, row second element, row third element. Element wise, in that row there are total four elements are there. We have to reach one by one. We have to reach one by one. How much of distance we need to travel? If it is zero, zero distance. If it is zero, then zero distance only. If it is one, one distance like that. Okay. I could say it is a zero row, zero distance. It's become a first element. Whenever again the next iteration, what happened? They become one. In this case, we are now we are at we are at zero row. A zero row, yes. But element is one. Element is one. But how it is operating? This notation is same like a array format. For array itself, it is a point. array inbuilt itself. It has a pointer. Now, after you are assigned to a point, assigned to a pointer, now you can operate in this in this format. Now, the meaning of this format is if the meaning of this format is a pointer of already we discussed about this pointer of pointer p. I am writing p, but there is a pt here. Don't confuse p plus i. What do you mean that base address plus i? What is the base address? In case the first row base address is a 2000, now 2000 plus 1 plus uh, this also have a like explain. This is a equivalent meaning. This is a equivalent meaning. In case the base address of this value, base address of this element is a 2000 example, it is a 2000. Okay, base address of this first row, first element. The base address of a second row, second element is a something like a 2005. 2020 something like that next one is a 2040 like that okay you consider in such a way okay then what is the so what is the i value i value is become i value is become uh, what is the i value i value is zero zero plus what is the j value j value is a one now it's become a 2000 plus one don't mean like a 2001 it means like a 2000 plus one integer size what is a one integer size it's a size of the explanation already i have given in a previous video again but i am repeating that is the one nothing but it's a one into size of one into size of size of integer of integer now it is equal to 2000 uh, plus four the result is becoming 2004. So like that it is a four byte shifted to the next index, which is become a second element when j is equal to when j is equal to one. When j is equal to one, whenever j is equal to one, uh, the array will become p of uh, j is equal to two. Whenever j is equal to two, it will become p of zero and two. Now it is equal to pointer of pointer i plus j like that uh, we are moving over the corresponding array okay so it is work like this kind of notation Simply, completely work like a, this kind of notation but we can able to write in this format same like a array notation format same like what is the name normally whenever you print any variable any value from the array we are giving a of i plus a of i and j normally we are giving it's a general general notation format but the same way we are writing for the pointer, as we can able to write, because it is assigned to row wise, row wise every and uh, our pointer also array of pointer. So already we are assigned to pointer element to array wise. So whenever you call a one array pointer with particular index, then we can able to access the row element by using the value, which are able to expand in this format. This notation will expand in this format like that we can able to access the every element in the corresponding row. When i is equal to win, when i is equal to will become one, when i is become one, then again we are starting from j is equal to one. It is become a second row, it started accessing. Again, j is equal to one, j is equal to uh, two, like that. 